This is the very first 2022 Ascent Onyx Edition that has arrived on our lot. This was a customer order. They placed it back in, I believe the beginning of August. So it's taken a few months. It's now the getting towards the later part of November. So it's, it's November 20th right now. This car just arrived and I'm super excited to show you guys all the details on this, tell you all about this new car and what is being offered on this trim level. But before we do that, we do need to get all the stickers and everything off of the car. And the way we do that is actually much easier than you might expect. All we do is snap our fingers and there we go. Now all the vinyl and the stickers are taken off and the car is ready to go to service for inspection and over to detail for cleanup. Okay guys, in all seriousness, this is how it's done. We just take the plastic and pull it back and rip it off. Get a little ASMR action going. Can't forget the roof. Starting out, let's talk about what is new and specific to the Onyx Edition trim. The first thing you'll notice is these large 20 inch black alloy wheels. So that is only on the Onyx Edition. You also have black headlight bezels on the interior. So on your regular Ascent and other Subaru models, it will have this like aluminum color or silver color inside. This has the black around the headlight bezel. You have black inserts right here near the fog light lamp, which are LED. Up here on the grill, you have the polished black front grill. Again, on your other Ascent models, you'll see this is either an aluminum brush or a chrome polish finish. On the side of the Ascent, they blacked out the window molding here, which is something I'm really happy about. I wish they would do that with the Outback Onyx Edition, but unfortunately right now from the factory, the Onyx Edition comes with chrome molding, which I think just doesn't go well if you're getting a, a black appearance package with the wheels and especially with the body color. Speaking of the body color, you don't have to get a black body color. The Onyx does come standard with these black wheels and the black grill and the other trim pieces that I was talking about. But also you can get this black appearance package on the other color options. So some of the options include white, silver, the dark gray, the red, the green, and the blue. In the rear, you get the black silica roof spoiler and you also get the Onyx Edition badging. So you've got the Subaru letters all blacked out. And then over here, you get the Ascent letters blacked out with this new onyx badge that kind of resembles like a rock or something a little bit more rugged than what you see on the other badges when subaru first released the pictures of this online one thing that i noticed is the chrome trim piece across the hatch at first i was thinking that was a terrible move on subaru's part i think a lot of other people would agree however after seeing this in person it actually doesn't look bad and something that if i got this I wouldn't be worried about it. I would probably just leave it as is. However, if you don't like this chrome trim piece, there are a ton of shops out there that can do either a matte or a polished black vinyl wrap on this. So essentially it's just a sticker that would go over this and would cover that up and you wouldn't know any different if you did want to go with the all black version on the back. The Onyx Edition comes with one optional package, which gives you the panoramic power moonroof the TomTom Tom navigation built into the infotainment system. And then lastly, it gives you the retractable cargo cover. 
The cargo cover has this nice storage area down below here and you can actually keep this there whenever you don't need it and whenever you do need it you can pull it out and put it in to the inserts up there. I'll show you what this looks like now. In order to use the cargo cover you do have to lay down the third row seat and then hook those in on either insert and then just pull it out like this and there you go. That's what it looks like with the cargo cover all the way out. You also get carpeted floor mats as a standard with the Onyx Edition logo. And then on the side, you do have the lime green stitching that resemble a lot like what you see in the Outback Onyx Edition with that lime green. The seats are similar to the Outback Onyx Edition with the gray StarTex. So this is a two-tone with the lighter gray and the darker gray material. These seats are very comfortable if you've never sat in or experienced driving a Subaru with the StarTex water repellent material, then I would definitely encourage you to check those out. This looks and feels just like leather, but it does have more durability and it does have the water repellent feature as well. It's made out of recycled material, so if you do like a vegan alternative to leather, that is a good option. But unlike the Onyx Edition with the green stitching, the Onyx Edition in the Ascent has the silver stitching. So if you don't like the green stitching that's in the Onyx Outback, this is different in that it has the silver stitching. You also have the black carbon look plastic material up here on the dash and on the door cards. In the second and third row on the Onyx Edition, you have the same StarTex material continued. However, the Onyx does not come in an eight passenger, so you cannot get a bench seat in the Ascent for the Onyx trim level specifically. You can only get a seven passenger, which will look just like this with the captain seating in the second row. Hopping into the driver's seat, you do get an eight-way power driver's seat over here. The seat on the passenger side is manual, so it is not a power seat over there. On your steering wheel, something that comes standard with the Onyx Edition is the heated steering wheel button right here. And what they changed with the 2022 model year that wasn't in previous years is the area of the heated steering wheel elements. So previously, it used to only heat up about three quarters of the steering wheel from here to here and here to here. Now it heats up the entire steering wheel. So no matter where you like to place your hands on the wheel when you're driving, your hands will be heated. The power tailgate that comes on many of the Subaru models is a standard on the Onyx trim. And you don't have to click on the button that I just used to open it. You can click and hold the tailgate button right here. That'll open it. Or if you click and hold it, it will close it. And then lastly, you have the option to close the hatch right here. This closes the hatch. This closes it and locks all of your doors, including the driver's door. Although this is a special trim, you do still get the exact same engine that is offered on all the other Ascent trim levels. So this is the 2.4 liter turbo engine that has 260 horsepower and has plenty of torque and power for towing. You can tow actually up to 5,000 pounds with this car. So that pretty much covers all the details on the new Onyx edition. Let me know down in the comment section below. Do you like the Onyx or would you prefer another model? Also, if you guys would like to see more details about the Subaru Ascent specifically and all the different features and capabilities on all of the trim levels, click on the YouTube card above. I made a video a few weeks ago that covers all trim levels in a little bit more detail. If you guys got value out of this video, please be sure to click the like button. Subscribe down below if you like Subaru videos. I post pretty much every week, sometimes multiple videos a week. And I hope you guys have a great day. I will see you in the next one.